Welcome to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will teach you how to pass a re-anchor. And we're calling this a small re-anchor because the anchor points are less than 1.5 meters apart. The loop is very large, so it's comfortable. And we're gonna treat it basically as a small rope-to-rope -rope transfer. Let's get into it. So I've come from the top, descended down until I'm at eye level of the anchor points. Then I grab one of the ropes, pull myself towards the anchor point and grab the strands of rope that go down to the floor. So I pull myself in, grab the ropes and let myself slide back. And I'll do everything nice, neat, slow and controlled. I do one of the ropes into my chest ascender, give myself a little bit of tension. I put my handled ascender above my chest ascender. And I'm ready to go. So like I said, it's basically the same as a small rope to rope transfer. I descend until I'm about halfway to two anchor points. Should be something like this. Just get a little bit more. Now that I'm halfway between the points, I do some rope management, find that piece of rope that goes down to the floor, that's this one, and I'm going to put my back up onto that. So I take my back up off and I still have two independent points of attachment, namely one and two. The distance is less than one and a half meters, so I'm still good. So right now I've attached my backup device to the second strand of rope that goes down to the floor. I continue my descent until I'm in my chest ascender and if I want to continue down I change over from my chest ascender into my descender step into my foot loop step out of the crawl Remove my handle the sender, clean it up. And like so, I would be ready to go down. So that's passing a re-anchor from the top to the bottom. But what if I need to climb back up because the work is finished? I've been ascending up, I reach the anchor points, I'll make one more step, that's it. And now because all rope access moves, almost all rope access moves start from the descending position, I need to change over from my ascender to my descender. But before I do that, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. Initial Klim is a training facility situated in the Netherlands, right north above Amsterdam. They provide all kinds of working at heights training. You can come here for your GWO training. You can come here for your Arata training. We have a fire department from a local company doing some rescue training right now. And you can come here for any training in between. There's a beautiful shop, physical shop next door, where you can come and try out all different kinds of rope access materials. And if you're not able to come here in person, you can visit the web store and order there. If you need more information, click that link in the description. To continue, I'll change over to my descender. So I take the ropes, I follow them all the way to where they come to the anchor point, right there. I'll take one of the ropes and put it in my chest ascender.
take my handle descender and put it above my chest descender. Give it a little bit of tension. And I deset back down just the same as with a small rope to rope transfer. When I'm about halfway to two points, they're equally loaded. I can move my backup device onto the new rope, which is right here. I do some rope management and continue on down. When I've transferred all the way over and I need to climb back up, I can undo the descender and continue my climb. That's basically it. Easy does it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Hit that notification bell and please leave a comment if you want to see a different technique because there's different ways to do this. That's it for passing a re-anchor and I will see you in the next one. Stay connected. Peace out.